Evaluation question six. What have you learned about the technologies from the process of constructing the product? Strengths we discovered of different types of cameras were the different shots and effects the use of the Sony Handycam allowed us to get. The variations of the shots we needed were for the flash forward effects and the point of view shot from the people under the stairs. The Canon XL2 DV tape allowed better quality shots with easier and manual focus. However, the weaknesses of the cameras were that the Sony Handycam was harder to focus and had different qualities to the Canon XL2. Also, we couldn't get it to fit on top of the tripod. We only had one track and dolly and also we had a faulty tripod. ...that we faced during the filming process were that there were only two Canon XL2 cameras and they were booked out when we needed them, so we couldn't film most of our film. We resolved this issue by filming what parts that we could on the Sony Handycam until the Canon XL2 cameras were free. This allowed us to continue the filming process and not lose out on any time. Another problem we faced was that we didn't check the equipment before taking it to our filming destination and then when we were setting up we noticed that we had a faulty tripod. We resolved this issue by holding the tripod steady whilst filming and then reshooting certain parts that weren't correct. The track and dolly equipment allowed us to get different types of shots that we needed that we wouldn't be able to do otherwise in order to enhance our film. When it came to editing our film, we used iMovie to add effects and transitions. We found that using the effects to adjust the brightness and contrast combined with the soft focus effect allowed us to get the desired effect needed to show the audience that there was something different in our film, so used it on the flash forward parts of the film. We also used the transitions fade out and flash to show that it was a flash. In order to create our soundtrack and the sounds we needed throughout the film, we decided to download them from a free sound website and then import them into iMovie to cut and adjust the volume to meet our film needs. However, we did face some challenges during the process as the website didn't stock all the different sounds that we needed. In order to overcome this issue, we used a flash mic to record our own sounds that weren't available on the website. <laughs>